Hello everyone, today in this video I'm going to show you how to download Copernicus Marine Data. So first of all, as you have seen in the previous video, the Copernicus Marine service is free. Once you have registered yourself and created your personal account, you will have access to all the ocean products offered by the Copernicus Marine service and you will be able also to download them. Once in the product catalog, after choosing the product of interest and have added it to your cart, you just need to go into it here and click on the download product button and you will be redirected to the download page. Usually a product is exposed as a set or a data set containing a subset of the variables or also different temporal resolution. For example, for this product here, we have a list of different uh, data sets following the variables, like for example, we have data set for currents, salinity, temperature, and also a temporal resolution. So we have daily data, hourly data, also monthly data. We just need to, to choose the one we are interested on. For example, I'm going, I'm going to choose the salinity data set for, with our daily resolution. When you have chosen your dataset, you will be redirected to the extraction page. To know more about the Copernicus catalog and the product documentation, please take a look to the Getting Started video. We have, so, we have the geographical bounding box of latitude and longitude, the time range, the depth, and the ocean variables. On the geographical area, if you want to focus on a specific zo zone, we just need to change the coordinates of latitude and longitude. For example, I want to focus uh, on the arbor in the arbor sea, so I will, I can be able to change here the coordinates. For example, from minus five to zero, and from thirty-five to. 47. And we see how the map zooms on the area of interest. We can do the same for the time range also. For example, if I just want to know the data for the first week of May, I just need to select the, the start date and the end date. We can also decide if you want to focus on the ocean surface or if we want a few meters of depth, or also we can have access to the whole vertical column of water. Usually we have also a list of ocean variables. And in this case, we are working on a data set of just salinity for a daily, uh, daily resolution. So the only resolution we will have here is the salinity. Once the extraction is validated, you can click on the download button here and the file will be generated and this and it will be saved in the download folder or you can also select the data access option button here and a new window will open when you can find the size of the file and the type of extraction that you can choose the Copernicus website usually offers up to three data access options delivered all in the standard NetCDF format. If you have any question about this kind of data, please check the video introduction to the NetCDF format. So these three data access are the subsetter, the direct get file, and the FTP protocol. For the subsetter, the user can download exactly what he needs in terms of geographical area, time range, depth, and ocean variables. So all the settings that we did in the previous step will be considered. This service is accessible from the graphical interface that we see here, we saw in the page uh, before, or also via machine interface. 
In fact, the web portal allows to generate also a template command line using this a Python script. When you click on the view script button here, the interface will generate a template command line corresponding to your request of download. You just need to copy and paste the command line here in your terminal and change the local parameters as the username, password to the to connect to your Copernicus account, uh, the output directory of your file and the name of your file. The second mechanism is the direct get file. As the subsetter, it is accessible both by the graphic and the machine interface. The difference with the subsetter is that this mechanism downloads at once the entire geographical range and all the variables containing in the dataset. So the only variable that you can change and you can choose is the temporal range. This mechanism is very useful for grouping NetCDF as one just single compressed file, but it's not available to all datasets. If you don't need particular criteria to take into account for the download, you can use the FTP access. You connect using your, your Copernicus credential and you have access to all the original data in the format they are stored in the database. I will present you here two main ways to have access to this protocol. The first is the web browser. For this CMEMS page, you have access directly to this page by the product link here. Clicking another page will open where you insert your credential and you have access to the product data folder. You choose then your temporal range you need for us, for example, it was the 2020 May, the first week, and you select the file you wanted to download and the download will going to start with a pop-up that is going to appear, except here. Another way to get Copernicus data is using the Fairzilla software, here. This is a very fast method based only on a drag and drop execution. Once you have downloaded it, it is as free software, you will have this window opening. On the top, you just need to insert in the host section the FTP link to which you want to connect, in this case, the near real time, the user and password for your Copernicus account, and you will have access to the FTP folder containing all the NRT data. Once you have chosen in the core the data you need, in our case was the med C physics data set the salinity daily. You just need to drag and drop them to your personal folder when they will be stocked. And here at the bottom of the page we saw the downloading ongoing. This is a very so quick solution, it should work without any difficulties and is very very intuitive. So as we saw, the subsetter and the get, direct get file allows to take some criteria into account following the request need to the, for the download. However, for these two, two mechanisms, the size of the final file of our request counts. Indeed, you have to be careful because each request download cannot exceed almost about 1 giga of data and it could be limiting in terms of need. On the other side, the FTP service allows to download at once the entire spatial coverage and all the variables of a dataset without side limitation. So following the request, the transfers could be faster and easier via the FTP access. However, it could happen that some technical issue may affect the service and you could have problem to have access uh, or to download data. In this case, it is possible to send a report issue here. When you explain the kind of issue you are facing, 
and you submit your message sending an email. In this way, the service desk will be informed and will resolve the issue. Anyway, all the steps to use the Copernicus Marine Service are specified in the technical facts section accessible from the main menu of the Copernicus website. In this section, small articles are listed uh, talking about uh, the registration, browser catalog, product information. For example, if we go to the technical fact how to write and run the script to download Siemens product, you click on the title and the article will open where all the steps are explained and with all, some example for create uh, some script uh, and download the, the data from the, temp from the machine interface. Finally, if you have any question about the Siemens products or their download, a human staff is at your disposal and ready to answer and assist you in the shortest time possible. You just need to click on the Ask Question button in the bottom right of each side page and a contact us page will open when you can, where you can submit your request and send a message to the service desk that will contact you in the briefest delay to answer to your need.